Cinema Paradiso is one of my top three favorite films of all time, alongside Kingdom of Heaven and 2001 A Space Odyssey. This film has been a part of my life ever since I was as young as Toto in the movie, and now at 25 years old. I've come back to this film at different stages of my life. The first time was when I was about 13 years old. I found a DVD of it in a friend's collection, and to be honest, I stole it. Later, I watched it again in high school, relating deeply to Toto's experiences as he goes through his teenage years. Most recently, I watched it yesterday and I couldn't help but tear up, which inspired me to write this reflection. So what is Cinema Paradiso about? It's about many things, but at its core, it's about the only constants in life, change and love. Through Toto's perspective, or maybe his memories, we see a journey of transformation, how his town changes, how movies change, how the community's connection to the theater and each other changes, how Toto's understanding of love changes, and ultimately how Toto him changes from a mischievous, spirited young boy into a quiet, mature man. The best part of this film for me is the beautiful friendship and love between Alfredo and Toto. Alfredo is more than just a friend. He's the father figure Toto never really had. He guides Toto through his early years and shapes the person he eventually becomes. Having spent his entire life in the town stuck in his own solitude, Alfredo urges, almost forces Toto to go out and live a full life, to achieve something more than what the small town offers. This is best shown in the scene where Alfredo tells Toto, I don't want to hear you talk anymore. I want to hear talk of you. Um, it's a beautiful sentiment, isn't it? The perfect thing for a father to say to his son. Let's talk more about the relationship between Alfredo and Toto. Toto's father went off to fight in the Second World War when Toto was just a young child, so he doesn't really remember his dad. Similarly, Alfredo never had children, but always wished he did. In a way, Alfredo becomes the father Toto never had, and Toto becomes the son Alfredo never had. They complete each other. What a great man Alfredo is to have as a father figure during one's formative years. A man filled with wisdom and life experience, who knows how life should be lived, even though he never got to live it that way himself. Just as fathers pass their dreams on to their sons, Alfredo passes his dreams on to Toto. That's how their relationship grows. While Alfredo is often fun and lighthearted, he can also be very serious, especially when giving Toto life advice. This film is also about being a big fish in a small pond. Both Alfredo and Toto are big fishes with dreams of a bigger, more fulfilling life. While Alfredo couldn't escape the limits of the small pond, his small town, he pushes Toto to break free and explore the vast ocean beyond. He knows that Toto won't thrive if he stays in the small town. He encourages Toto to venture into the wider world where he can realize his true potential and become the person he's meant to be. Now let's focus on the theme of change. Change is woven throughout Cinema Paradiso, touching every character and part of the story, especially Toto's journey. As the years go by, we see a young boy grow into a mature man, shaped by the changing world around him, his experiences, and his relationships. The film shows how a person changes, not just in age, but in spirit, outlook, and understanding of life. Toto's view of the world evolves over time. As a child, his world is small and centered around the charming but limited space of his town and the magic of the cinema paradiso. The cinema is his gateway to a bigger universe. It's through the flickering light of the projector that he first sees a world beyond his immediate surroundings. But as Toto grows, his experiences broaden and his view of the world expands. The innocent, wide-eyed wonder of his youth is gradually replaced by a deeper understanding of life, love, and loss. His experiences, especially his deep relationship with Alfredo, teach him about the complexities and challenges of life, urging him to look beyond his small town and dream bigger. Love, too, changes in Toto's life. In his youth, love is simple and pure, an idealistic desire for connection, often shown through his infatuation with Elena. But as Toto gets older, his understanding of love deepens. It becomes less about fantasy and more about reality, the sacrifices, the heartbreaks, and the lasting impact it leaves on a person. Alfredo's love and guidance help shape Toto's understanding of what love really means. It's not just the romantic kind, but a deeper, more enduring form of love, a love that goes beyond time and distance, 
a love that motivates and pushes him forward in life. This understanding of love changes Toto, turning him from a mischievous, passionate boy into a reflective, thoughtful man. The passage of time also brings big changes to Toto's town, the world of movies, and the theater itself. The once bustling Cinema Paradiso, a lively hub of community and cultural life, starts to fade as new forms of entertainment appear. The theater, which once brought the townspeople together to share experiences of laughter, tears, and wonder, slowly becomes obsolete. This decline mirrors the broader changes in society, the shift from shared experiences to more isolated, individual ones. The town itself transforms, losing much of its old charm and simplicity, reflecting the unstoppable march of progress and modernization. Through Toto's eyes, we see how the movies themselves change, evolving from black and white silent films to colorful epics, reflecting the technological advancements and changes in cultural tastes over the decades. The magic and innocence of the early days of cinema give way to a more commercialized, polished industry, losing some of the raw emotional power that first captivated audiences like young Toto. The theater, once a place where the entire town gathered to experience life together, no longer serves that role. Its decay symbolizes the changing nature of storytelling and communal spaces. The beauty of kisses is a recurring theme in Cinema Paradiso, representing the unspoken emotions, the tender connections, and the intimate moments that define human experience. Throughout the film, kisses symbolize love, passion, longing, and the real, raw beauty of life. The film uses these moments to explore the significance of intimate connections and how they shape our memories and relationships. Yet, it also shows the constraints placed upon these expressions by societal norms and censorship, highlighting a tension between real human experience and imposed rules. In Cinema Paradiso, kisses are more than just physical gestures. They are moments of deep connection. They capture the essence of love in its purest form, whether it's a shy, first kiss filled with youthful innocence or a passionate embrace that speaks of deep longing. Each kiss in the films shown at Cinema Paradiso is a moment that goes beyond words, revealing the depth of emotion that characters feel but may not always express verbally. These moments are key in the movies shown at the cinema, resonating deeply with the audience members who see a reflection of their own lives and loves on the screen. However, the beauty of these moments is often ruined by the strict censorship enforced by the church, which acts as a guardian of morality in the small Sicilian town. The local priest, with his ever-present bell, carefully watches every film reel before it is shown to the public, ringing his bell to signal the projectionist, Alfredo, to cut out any scene he considers inappropriate. And so, the kisses, the moments of tenderness, intimacy, and human connection, are cut from the reels, seen as too scandalous or provocative for the audience. This act of censorship is more than just the removal of scenes. It represents the suppression of life's most beautiful, natural expressions of love and affection. The removal of these scenes highlights a broader comment on how censorship can stifle the real experiences of life. By censoring kisses and intimate moments, the church, and by extension the society it represents, tries to sanitize reality, presenting a world without the raw, honest expressions of human connection. This suppression of emotion and passion reflects a desire to control and limit, to dictate what is considered appropriate for public viewing. Yet, in doing so, it also dulls the richness of life, taking away the moments that make life so meaningful and memorable. The film shows this censorship through the character of Alfredo, who, even though he follows the priest's orders, understands the value of these moments. He recognizes that kisses and intimate scenes are not just about physical affection, they are about the emotional truths that lie beneath, the longing, the desire, the love, and sometimes the pain of human relationships. Alfredo's final gift to Toto, the reel of all the censored kisses cut from the films, is a powerful act of defiance and love. It is a reminder to Toto and to all of us of the beauty of life that exists in these moments of connection. It's a celebration of what had been lost to censorship, a collection of human passion, a montage of the life-affirming moments that were denied to the audience. Through this act, 
Cinema Paradiso makes a strong statement about the importance of experiencing life in its fullness without the barriers of censorship that seek to limit and control our understanding of love and intimacy. The film argues that to censor kisses is to censor life itself, to deny the very expressions that make us human. Kisses, with all their tenderness and passion, embody the unfiltered, genuine connections that define our existence. There are moments where time seems to stand still, where the complexities of life fade away and only the purity of emotion remains. Thank you for staying till the end. Not many in this 15 second video era can last this long. And if you're still here, I would love to hear your thoughts on the movie. So please do comment. See you in the next one.